teacher. Hello. Hi, hi, teacher. Hey. <laughs> oh, you're so happy, Paul. Uh, That's yes. great. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Hi, Josie. I'm fine. What about good. you? Oh, I see more people tonight. That's good. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How was the weekend? Nobody wants to share? Are you happy that the quarantine has been lifted? Mm, not really. <laughs> because the situation here is really bad, I think, or dangerous. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. that you're at risk yeah but we have to stay at home yeah i hope it, people understand right and they stay home no matter what because here the quarantine is still going on it hasn't been lifted so let's see what happens let's hope for the best okay yeah. i don't see josue carla chan fernando alexandra all your cameras are off and yep. one, two, three. Yeah, the four yes. of you. Fat Fatima, I know your camera doesn't work. Yeah, sorry, Miss, but I, I have an industry right now and I'm going to my home. Sorry, okay. but I only listening right now. Oh, so you can participate either? I will take that into account. Okay. So yeah, let me know once you're home so that um I know I can include you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, we're gonna do one last activity. Okay, it's this reading. What I need you to do is, okay, zoom it, come here, right? You can click here. I would like you to read this paragraph and let's go one by one. So one person will read the first paragraph, second person will read the second one, read it out loud, okay? So that your partner can listen to you. Try to use your best pronunciation. Once you finish, you're gonna go down here and answer the questions, okay? I think we're very close to getting to the uh, the midterm. Yep, so we're gonna do the midterm tonight or tomorrow, all right? Let's work on this part in pairs, except for Josue. I think Josue will be listening to you, okay? Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh -uh. All right, accept the invitation, please. Let's do this. It's section 3.15. Okay, here we go. Let's read. Practice, practice. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first, first uh, the number one is uh, the paragraph that we uh, gonna gonna study. Uh, uh, every, Fernando, every. are you on the platform? I I cannot hear you. Are you on the platform? Yes. Okay. What about you, Paul? And uh, one uh, number one, uh, the paragraph. The number one is a paragraph that we are gonna do. 
duty with Fernando. No, you're going to read all the text. So, for example, all the text. Paul, all, yeah. All the yeah, Paul will right. read paragraph one, Fernando two, three, four. All right. Mm -hmm. right, all right, all right. Thank you. Yes, there is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he did not arrive in time to help her. They, no, he, he keeps the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. He Today yeah. in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to their woman. In exchange, the woman give them a bracelet of silk, cotton or gold thread. Number four, one the biggest. One of mm -hmm. the biggest celebration in Argentina is New Year's Eve. New on the evening. New, New Year's evening, mm -hmm. on the evening of December 31, families get together and have a, a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue through, through the, throughout. celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is known as Tetsubu. Family members throw dry beans around their home, shouting, good luck in, evil spirits out, after they throw. Ah, yes, not the, about the, 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 le the lecture that mm -hmm. we have. Well, that you are talking about is uh, all the all that country have a different uh, um, I don't know routines or traditions traditions or, or traditions right? yes mm -hmm. yes Wait, sorry so did you answer all the questions our co no we just read <laughs> so sorry <laughs> we're gonna do that okay right okay. now <laughs> ancestors and um, uh, then four them paragraph three line five um, to be loyal to their woman in, ex in exchange the woman give them woman Brazil. This paragraph four, line four. This paragraph three, line five. Um, to be loyal, they want to be. I think. For one, continue throughout the night. This is a day one friend and. 
Comedy. And pretty say their their Korean family or their ancestors. Read the paragraph. Read the paragraph. Fernando, I have a question. On Wednesday and Thursday, you were not in class, right? I don't see your face, but I think I know who you are. No, I, I cannot. You couldn't? In class. Yes, I I, I, play. I couldn't. You are Alexandra's colleague, right? Mm. I don't know how to say, but if we were in the same company, but we are not co-workers or team mates. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're doing, but it's all right. Have you finished the question? Uh, we are in the, in the turf right now. Perfect. I also have the answer. You have all of them, all right. Yeah, I think everybody's finished, so we're gonna go back. Okay. Let's go back. All right, I guess you all have the answers, right? Yes. Yes. You have the right one, very good. So now we're gonna start the midterms. In Go with me, I'll write to the next section and let's do the midterms together. Who has done it? Have you guys completed it? Anybody? Yes. How did yes. you do? Was it easy? Did you get a good score? It's almost complete, but it's wrong. I check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I need more time. <laughs> All right. Well, so we're going to it. We're gonna do it right now. If you want to take your time and think about it and do it, it's okay, but uh, I will do it now with you, okay? So, number one, Carla Molina, go ahead. Please clean up, clean up, bed, no. clean up bedroom. It's really a mess. Clean up. Uh, up. Clean up. That is the phrase of verb, guys. Clean up. Clean up. It always goes together. And we don't have another option. All right. And clean up the bedroom. I don't know that's missing, but it's okay. Poll number two. Poll. Put all the put all away. Could you please? Put over the groceries in the kitchen. Mm -mm. Put over that. No, no. Who, has, who, who knows what it is, guys? What's the answer? Put up. Put off. Oh, we Put don't away. remember the name. The we don't remember phrase verbs then. Okay, because put off, guys. The meaning of put, put off. Yeah, but we need to understand why. All right, I know that that's the only option left, but we need to understand why. So, what's the meaning of put off? If Put off? No, guys, the meaning of put off is postpone. Okay, so can we say, can you please postpone the groceries? All right. Okay. No. Put away, I think it would be put away. Put away. Okay, put away means to put things where they belong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this the one? Yes, right? So it's put away. 
eso de. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But guys, you need to start using this. All right. When you speak, say, hey, I have to post, I have to put off the meeting. All right. Can you put away your toys? All right. Try to write the meaning, write examples and memorize it. Okay. Because I think we have forgotten phrasal verbs like this time. So number three. Josue? Yes, miss. Can you can you turn down the TV while while in your while I am in the phone? Turn down the TV. Okay, that should be right. Very good. Part two, Noe. Microwave ovens are used to cooking food very fast. No, that wouldn't be right. We cannot use two and I to cook. case. To cook food very fast. Right. To cook, can I mark two? I don't know, read, choose between an infinitive or a gerund. Okay, so I'm gonna choose to cook, but both should be right, okay? Let's see what happens. Number two. Carla Chang. When you go to the beach, try not to get that came colder wet. Uh -huh. Number one. Yeah, this is right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Three. Fatima. Um, you can use my cell phone uh, for leave a voicemail. That is not possible. Okay, guys, let me reinforce this. Uh, do you remember we have two options? We can say two and we can say four, but there was something specific with them. So with two, what are we gonna use? How are we gonna conjugate the verb? Uh, okay, I can say two goes. So in base form? The base form, right? Or I can say four. With I and G. Going in the gerund form, gerund, or you can call this I and G, okay? Mm -hmm. So that this is uh, the reason why I'm saying it's incorrect, all right? So this one, you can use my phone. Which one is right? To leave. To leave a voicemail. That's the only combination that is right. Look to go or for going. So to leave or for leaving, but that's the only option. Okay, for Carla Molina. Uh, don't forget uh, to take your ATM card with you. Yep, that's good. Let's see. I wanna make sure number one is right. There is one, there's one mistake. Microwave ovens are used to cook. Um, For cooking, I think, is it right? Yeah, but that is also right. Unless it wants us to check both. That's the one it says. So they're used for cooking. To cook is also right. I don't know why it's taking it wrong, but select for cooking, okay? So next, let's go to section B, which is rewriting. If you have the answers, let me know, okay? Number one, let's see, Roberto. Okay. Would you close the door? Oh, the answer there. Uh -huh. Could you close the door? And then please. <laughs> Question mark, right? Very good, Josue. Okay. Uh, I think it's um, number, number two, right? Mm hmm I think, would you take the garbage out, please? And apostrophe. 
So could again, would you? Uh, sorry, would you take the garbage out uh, and come, please? Um, I don't remember. I think interrogation. I don't remember. Question mark. And the first one Question is comma. Mark. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Comma. So look, comma. what I'm okay. typing is: <laughs> Would you take out? You can say take the garbage out. It's okay. But here you have to use take out the garbage, please. All right. Three. Uh, Fernando. <laughs> Would you mind don't sit there, please? Um, no, sorry, that's not don't the one. What's the answer? After mind, there's always, you, there's something we're always going to use after mind. The verb in gerund. The verb in the gerund form with ing. Very good. So how would this be? Would you mind don't sitting? Would you mind sitting don't sitting? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we're not going to use don't. We're going to use not, okay? For both. So the, the word would be, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Not sitting. Very good, yeah. not sitting. Because it's not imperative anymore. Not sitting here, let's see. Would you mind not sitting? Not sitting there like this. Right, would you mind not sitting there? For Paul. Take the cat out. Uh-huh, Paul. I don't hear you. Cat out, please. So you're saying, can you take the cat out, please? I didn't hear you. Can you put your microphone closer? Because I don't hear you. All right, next, Fatima. Number four. Five. Could you please repeat that? I'm going to put please in between. You can do that. Let's see if it accepts it. Could you please repeat that? Mm hmm there's a problem here did you get all the right answers did you take out the garbage please take out the garbage what is the problem with this one take the garbage out would you please hold on i'm gonna try always uh-huh maybe would you please let me try, would you please, would you please take the, take out, is that how you have it? Take out the, the garbage. garbage. Maybe. Yep. Would you and please question mark. take out the garbage? No. No question mark? Yes. I'm going to place it here. Maybe. Yes. Nope, it says it's incorrect. Would you please take, ah, I, I typed I you the, Yep, now it's right, very good. And number five, what is the mistake with number five? I have the answers, guys, by the way, but. Could you repeat that? Could you please, so could you repeat that, please? Like that? Please, mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. at the end, okay. That should Come be. On, please. All right, I just want you to know that you can say it in the middle or you can say it at the end, okay? Both are right, so it shouldn't be a problem. And could you repeat that, please? Uh, fresh. Okay. Nope, it says it's wrong. Could you repeat that, please? Do I have a comma? Yeah, everything's right. Okay, I'm going to show you. Do you have the answer for number five, any of you? No. No, no comma. Don't put a comma. Without the comma. Mm -hmm. 
That's terrible. You need a comma. Well, anyway, here are the answers. Okay, I have them. So you see the number them, one, please. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Here it is. Could you close the door, please? Uh -huh, with a comma. Yeah, the word repeat is not good. It's repeat. You close the door with comma. Ah, uh, uh -huh, so the uh -huh. comma was the right. Answer is, is yeah. Wrong. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's right. It's wrong on the answer. That's why I didn't take it with a comma. You're right. Would you repeat that, please? Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's what happens. And that's why I try to do these exercises with you in class. In case you don't find the answers, we can find them here, okay? So, let's move on. Are you following me? Yes. 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 Let's go to part C. And we're going to do the listening. First, read the questions, okay? So, number one. Noe? Stephanie says, Richard is a geek. Okay. Oh, no, but don't give me the answer. We're just going to read the, the questions. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stephanie's uh -huh. hackery mouse. All right. Two. Uh, Fernando. Don't give me the answers, okay? Very ask Marta how to. Uh-huh. Three, Alexandra. According to Eva. Mm -hmm. And four, Fatima. Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. All right, let's see if we can get the answers. I'm gonna play this for you and choose the answers at the same time, please. Tell me at the end. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here. Be sure to put it face down and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So what is number one? A geek. a geek. Very good. Two. Can scan some photographs. Great. Three. Your roommate's roommate. 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 
four. Highlight text. 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 Very good. Let's see if that is right. Yes, very good. Good job, guys. And let's see. Let's go to section D now. And hey, we're going to do the reading. The reading, you know how we do it, right? We always do it like that. So one paragraph per person and then answer the questions together. You should get the right answers. In case you don't have the right answer, I will give you the, the answer. But I mean, you have three options, so there's no way you wouldn't get it. All right, let's do this reading all together, okay, in pairs this time. Okay. Hold on. All right. Mm -mm. Hmm. All right, ask for the invitation, please. Let's read this. It's section E, I think. Here we go. We are going to read something that the teacher show. Yeah. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hi. Did you have you sent the the picture that we are going to read? In no, I haven't because I really need you to work on the midterm on the platform, not with the, the picture. So that is section, that's what we're doing, the, plat the, the midterm. So it's section okay. B. You have access to a platform, right? Yes. Yeah, let's do it there on the platform and answer the questions when you finish. Uh, the number is, what, what's the number? No, it's section, section three. B. Oh, uh -huh. No, number three at, at the end. The reading. Reading exercise, you need custom. No, you need to go further. This is the midterm, midterm section D. It's after section three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have it, Carla? Yes. Okay, great. Let me check it out. Uh, families do teenagers plays their music really loudly when we politely ask would you mind turning the music down they just look look at get us next Oh, you, you. No, they just looked at us. Say it like that. They just looked Look, at us. Looked at us. Mm -hmm. okay. Number four. What was Sally's advice? Let the Let police the po solve police the problems. Solve the problems. Please, yeah. police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. You. Yeah, all is correct. All are yes. correct. <laughs> yes, we, we do it. Did you finish reading? Yeah. Yes. And, and oh, answer well the fast. question too. Wow, that was fast. Well, fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back then. Very good. Okay. okay. Who let the dogs out? You see, the majority are not here because they haven't finished. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No problem for being fast. All righty. Yeah. Mm -mm. So I guess you have the answers, right? 
Yes. yes. And if you didn't get them, well, you can do this later. This one, you don't, I don't think you need much help. So anyway, guys, from the previous reading and the reading we just read, that's redundant, but yeah. So from that text, I want to give you some feedback on pronunciation, okay? For example, in this one. Let's see. Through. Where was that word? Through. Out. Like this. Why do I feel like it's wrong? Through. Out. <laughs> How do you pronounce that word? Throughout. 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 I feel like it's not correct. Spell, but yeah. Throughout. Throughout. Yeah. Imagine it's through words, right? Two words through and out. So throughout. 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 Yeah. Make sure you're throughout. saying that sound, right? Through. Like throughout, 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 throughout. So you can say, for example, throughout the day, I eat three times. I take a shower once. So throughout the day, okay. Then pronunciation of this. Keep. Keep. Yes. No, nope, it's yeah. Kept. Kept. Kept like this. Kept. 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 Mm -hmm. Kept. That's the past. Very good. Now, um, how do you pronounce it? Look. 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 Right. Very good. And how do you pronounce it? Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Hold on. Say it, Alexandra. Look at us. No, that is not the right. <laughs> no, what you're, saying, look. what you're saying is this. Look at us. This is what you're saying. It's not in the past. Look, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Okay. Look at us. Yes, that's right, but you need to connect it. Okay. Look at us. 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 No, Carla Molina. Sorry. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Josue, that was right. You just need to connect it. Fatima, no. try it. Look at, look at us. Look at us. Kind of. Yeah, close. Okay, guys, look. What is the pronunciation of the past, first of all? Look at. Look. No, it's look. not look at. Mm -mm. It's like look. you put a T like at the end. Look. Look at look. the end. Look. So, okay, pay, pay attention. When you connect it, you're going to say look that. Look at us. Like, like, look at us, right? Like this. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. And the combination of this is look that. Look that. Okay. So that's how you were supposed to pronounce it. And that's it. Okay. Let's continue. I think we have one more section. Section E. Josue. Number one. I don't hear you also. I lost you all of a sudden. Before a young man and woman speak. And woman speak. Connected. Woman. Woman speaks. Mm -hmm. Woman speak. What's the answer? Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me waiting. see. Um, I don't know. I think they usually talk on the phone. Speak. Yeah, this is weird. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea right now. Okay, two. Roberto. Robert. Go ahead. Number two. Yes. Yes, sir. Before they, 
Tehi. 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 Don't know. What is the te, te, No, te. they, they, Roberto. Before they meet. Uh, it's an hero, right? It is. Before it's they. <laughs> uh -huh. Before they meet for the first time. Mm -hmm. What's the answer, Roberto? Oh. <laughs> Guys, give me the answer. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Carla's having fun. Carla, they, you're next. Those, those are difficult questions. They might chat with they, each other on the internet. Like maybe. They, they usually chat. talk on the telephone. Before they meet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, what do we now, know, right? Do now they, they usually they, keep, it's easy to, to chat in the they internet, have to meet not talk to the phone. Topic, like, <laughs> But no. this day, the people chat for no, more than so long. Ah, that's true. Okay, very good. It's three. Okay, anybody can help me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're not okay. <laughs> when they three. had their first date, they often meet in a public place such, such as a coffee, coffee shop. shop. Uh, they often meet in a public, not public, or a public place such as a coffee, public. Shop. Public. coffee shop. Public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to be funny. It's a post, it's a post. Number <laughs> okay, four. <laughs> After they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange another date. Arrange? Arrange, arrange. arrange. another date. Arrange. Another date. Arrange. Okay, so we haven't used chat. So maybe that's the first one, right? They might chat. It's the first one. Mm -hmm. on yeah. the internet. Okay, yes. so hold on. Let's know this. Match the phrases with the most. Okay, but tell us, please. We're talking about online dating. Please tell us the topic. <laughs> we're like guessing here. Online dating. <laughs> All right, everything is good. They very we did <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tell us the topic, right? At least anyway. We're good. <laughs> I think we finished the, the midterm. Okay, did you finish? Yes. 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 Yeah, we all did. Yes. Pretty much. Okay. So we're only missing section four and five and then the last exam. Mm, we're gonna watch this video and you know as always we're gonna practice it tomorrow speak using it tomorrow but let's watch and see uh, read the objective please Carla Tang yes. you and I have this topic pending go ahead okay um, in this class you will be exposed to an audio where explain examples of past present and the future tense are used all right, very good. So all the tense has been used. Let's watch. Pay attention to the pronunciation because tomorrow you're gonna practice it, okay? Listen up. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Guys, can you see this, this thing? This dialogue? Yes. Yes, Miss. <clears throat> okay, great. So let's identify, where can you see past, present, and future in dialogue? Uh, 
Where can you see it? In the past, maybe the neighborhood has a change. For example. It has changed. Yeah, it's change. present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, what else? Okay. Now let's find past. Past simple. Live it here. Live, live here. here. Live here. Live. live. A few years ago. Uh, uh, yeah, that's an expression. Okay, what else? It's growing. It's in present. Present continuous. What else? Present we use. We used to buy. We used to buy, yeah. Past. Okay, what is it seems? It seems. That's present, present simple. Okay, then we have they're tearing down. What tense is that? It will be. Uh, that will be. Will be just a more. There will be is future. Okay. Future. Right. Yeah. But Everyone has a car. Everyone has a car. What is that? Past. No, has a car. Present simple. Present simple. Right. Going to build. Going to build. Where is it? Uh, ah, now it's. Uh, going to build. Yeah. They're going to build. What is that? Past, present, or future? On um, um, future. Yes, it is future. Very good. All right, awesome. So we're gonna practice this tomorrow and study combining all of the tenses in one conversation, okay? Uh, do you have questions? I know you're tired because today we didn't practice that much. We didn't see, we only worked and worked and worked on the midterm. <laughs> so I know you're tired. That's why I wanna let you go now and we can practice tomorrow. But do you have questions? No. It's good. No. All clear, all good. Oh, awesome. All right. Make sure you finish this midterm, all right? Because they need the grades. They need to see your progress. So that has to be finished tonight or tomorrow in case you didn't do it with me in class, okay? But tomorrow we're going to okay. get a lot of practice to compensate for tonight, I promise, okay? So thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a beautiful night. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.